Okay, today we are going to do uh, just some demonstrations of how to um, determine if your lenses are polarized or not, and there are different degrees of polarity, some um, better than others, just depending on uh, what brand you get and uh, how well they're made. So uh, here we have some uh, Oakley Romeo Ones with uh, the fire red polarized visionary lenses. Um, it's a very old and unique uh, model and style, but uh, one of my favorites. Uh, and we also have a polarized test card to the left, um, computer screen up front here, and, uh, and then some extra lenses to the right. The first test will just be with the polarized uh, plaque here to the left, so you can see just a pair of sunglasses here on the gray, gray matte frame. Uh, we'll take the polarized lenses and put them in front of the camera and you'll see an image appear you go and as we move it away the image disappears and uh, if you're lucky enough to have one of these you can do that test but uh, I don't think very many people have the polarized plaque uh, the second uh, way to do this is to take the two lenses that you receive or that you have in your frame so I just have two pairs here um, and hold one up you can look through it here and take the other one, here I'll have it off in front there, so the lens is in front of the screen now, the first one, put the second lens up and you can see through both of them and then rotate the front one 90 degrees and it should pretty much black out, uh, it's kind of fuzzy but um, uh, now you're re you see the reflection of the camera because it's so black but uh, yeah, so you have one lens in front of the camera, two lenses in front and then when I rotate the front one 90 degrees, you see that it blacks out. So if you're able to uh, do this, it's kind of hard to show on the screen. I'll try and show further away. So one, two, you can see the VL logo through it. And when I rotate the front one 90, it blacks out and shows my reflection. So yeah, it's just one lens in front of the other. One, put it down, see it through it and then rotate and you see the blacked out part so and you can make it black out anywhere that the lens is rotated and the third test if you have a computer screen which most people do now or a cell phone you can do this with a cell phone too uh, we'll go ahead and try and get just the computer screen here so go ahead and take your lens and put it in front of the camera uh, let's see if we can get a good shot. Okay, now when you rotate it, it should black out. So you see, you can see the images through the lens. Rotate, and now you just see the camera. So you get that kind of blackout effect when you rotate the lens. Um, if the lens is poorly, poorly polarized, uh, you won't get that effect. I'll try it again here uh, with it right in front of the camera. So you can see. Yeah, it's kind of hard to do because of all the reflections, but um, yeah, and you can see the test card there showing the image again. Um, yeah, so those are some tests that we do. Um, our lenses do completely black out at visionary lenses, and uh, obviously a very strong image if you take, we'll take a blue one here and hold it up to the plaque, uh, and you'll see uh, the image again. So there you go. If you have any questions about how to do any of these tests, uh, go ahead and uh, comment on our wall. Uh, you can also take a cell phone. Um, so we'll go ahead and just uh, pull up some here. We got a Google front page on the cell phone. Uh, and then we take our lens, put it in front, you can see the Google image, and then rotate slowly, blackout rotate slowly and black that one's a lot better than the computer screen so yeah if you have a cell phone this will work as well thanks for watching